for the government to lead a review into price gouging by the country's supermarket giants. Now, Ian Jarrett is a Churchill Fellow who's written about unit pricing, but he's also a spokesman for Queensland's Consumers Association and joins me now. Ian, thank you for your time today. I mean, Coles and Woolworths are raking in billions in profits, potentially ripping off Australians at the checkout. Um, you are intending to make a submission to this inquiry. Will the outcome mean a better result for consumers? Well, Holly, good morning. Yeah, they, we'll probably make a submission to Craig Emerson's inquiry, but we're definitely making a submission to the Senate inquiry because we think uh, consumers need a better deal, both in terms of price levels, but also in their ability to compare prices. So a lot of consumers have great difficulty using the unit prices to compare prices and values. And they can save huge amounts of money if their unit pricing is effective. Yeah, interesting. Uh, what is the appropriate outcome here for consumers? What's the balance between the cost price squeeze on the average Australian and then also fair price on agriculture too? What sort of pricing mechanism should we be looking at here? The government seems to have changed the focus a little bit for this review that Craig Emerson is undertaking. I mean, initially it kicked off as being an, in, in, an inquiry into the supermarket code of conduct, which relates to the supermarket suppliers and the supermarkets. But judging by what the Prime Minister is saying, that the government is prepared to use all options available to ensure businesses are passing on lower costs to consumers, then it's be, have got quite a strong consumer focus now, which we're very happy with. And Craig Emerson, incidentally, was the minister that introduced the unit pricing legislation into Parliament in 2008. And it's a great pity that the government has decided to have an independent reviewer of this, this code, the, the supplier code, but they didn't, uh, the previous government didn't have an independent reviewer for the unit pricing code, which was an internal tre treasury job. So should there be consequences here for supermarket giants? What deters them from doing this again in the future? Well, competition is the thing, and you've also got to use the power of consumers. Empowered consumers can have an enormous effect on what businesses do. But as I said earlier, the problem with the grocery sector at the moment is that the unit price system is not good enough in terms people can't see and read the unit prices it's really much less less used than it should be and could be used so that's i think is a key thing we've got to empower consumers to influence what the businesses do and the best way you can influence what the businesses do is by changing what you buy they soon get the message yeah indeed some very good points you made there thank you so much for your time today really appreciate your analysis on that you're welcome. Ian Jarrett there.